Hello! Today we are doing another plant updates video. It's so weird when I don't say my intro. I don't even know where to go from here. Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to another planty video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to be uh, looking at some new growth and some things that are happening in my plant collection. I like to do these videos every so often just to show you guys what's going on and we can share in the joy of my plants growing. Okay, so we're gonna start in my bedroom as we usually do when I film these. I've only filmed one other one in this house, I think, but <laughs> I don't know why I like to start in the bedroom. Okay, here we are in the bedroom. Uh, my light's not even on, wow. We are all over the place today, you guys. Uh, okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna start with my plant shelf over here. I actually don't have too much to show in my bedroom. Um, yeah, but I will show you what we do have going on. I'm gonna try not to touch anybody because this is where the thrips are happening. Um, actually, you know what? The thrips are kind of happening all over my house now, so that's fun. Um, we're not gonna talk about that in this video though. We're gonna keep it positive. Okay, so the first thing that I do wanna show you is my philodendron Florida ghost. Look at that new leaf. I'm getting the more mature leaf shade. Look at those lobes. It is so stinking cute. This leaf came out almost completely white. It's been out for, uh, I'm gonna say about seven to 10 days now. So it is starting to get some more green on it, but it did come out very creamy. Uh, honestly, the way that this plant is growing is like perfect for me. I've struggled with Philodendron Florida Ghost, both not giving me white leaves and um, also the opposite end of the spectrum where I was getting completely all white leaves like they were just staying white and then dying off but this one seems to be on the right track because it's actually turning green and as you can see that one turned green that one's more of like a minty vibe but um I don't know if it's ever gonna turn solid green actually to be honest with you I haven't really thought about that but that one has been there for a couple of months now so it'll be interesting to see what happens with this plant anyways I was really excited to get uh the lobes that are happening on that leaf there getting some subtle signs of maturity. So yeah, very exciting. So that is the first one, Philodendron Florida Ghost. And then what else do I have to show you? Oh my goodness, my poor Polonia. I don't know if it's thrips or it's been sprayed down. All these plants have been sprayed down, but I don't know if it's from the thrips that this plant just totally tanked on me. But yeah, I've lost so many leaves on this. It's not doing great. I am getting new growth though, so it's not all bad news, but yeah, I guess that's not a very fun update on that one, but interesting because I have no idea why it's doing that. So I am getting a new leaf down here on my Philodendron McDowell, which is exciting. As much as I am not the biggest fan in the world of Philodendron McDowell, I do appreciate when it gives me new leaves and it does so somewhat frequently, so I am excited to see that one come out. And then what else do we have going on? My philodendron billetier also working on a new leaf there. Really excited about that. I am a huge fan of this plant, so I can't wait to see that new leaf. This is how my alocasia cupria is doing here. Look at that, so cute. Okay, I don't really have any other major updates in this room. I am getting a new leaf on my philodendron silver sword, and for once, it actually didn't get stuck on me, so very um exciting news there i think i might try to yeah i think i'm going to tape this vine to the wood as well because this is two separate plants in here and only that one is attached or taped so i think i might actually tape that one now that it's getting long enough um so that'll be interesting to see still don't have any rootage attaching i need to tape this one down maybe I was gonna wait until it gave me a new leaf, but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll go ahead and tape it today. Other than that, really not too much happening in this room. These plants are definitely growing slower in here just because they are not living in the cabinets like the rest of my collection. So they kind of grow at a, a slower pace in here, but that's fine. Okay, I sprayed down all the plants on the top here last night just because I'm pretty much spraying down everybody in my house nowadays, so trying to pair that with watering. Um, so yeah, everyone's doing not bad out here. Actually, I did want to show my string of hearts because I'm just really impressed with the size of the hearts that I'm getting on this. Look at how big 
these ones are. Just wait. Let's see, why don't I have the light on again? My goodness. There we go. Um, so look at the size of the hearts that I'm getting. And this is near the bottom of the vine, so I'm just so impressed. I think it's because it's getting light from the grow light. Like, even when it sits down here, it's getting light from inside the cabinet, and it's also getting light from just from that grow light there. So I'm just so thrilled about that because I hate when String of Hearts just starts giving like minuscule hearts. So these are like substantial and I'm stoked about that. I've also kind of upped my fertilizer that I'm giving lately. I'm trying to be less scared of like over fertilizing because I feel like my plants could use the extra boost, the ones that are growing. So yeah, I can talk about that more in a different video, but anyways, doing well. And then let's go into my Millsville Wide. Okay, 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 okay. So I did want to show you, I don't remember if I've showed this in a video yet or if I've just shown it on Instagram, but look at my Amerium Medium Silver. Look at that leaf. That is so nice. Oh, I love this plant so much. I'm really glad that I got it. This is a plant that was on my wish list for a while, and then I kind of forgot about it. Um, and then I ended up getting it later anyways, and I'm really glad that I did because I'm such a fan. You guys know that I love silver foliage, but um, yeah, I've been really happy and impressed with this plant so far. We do also have this little new leaf down there. This one looks so funny. It's like missing the two top pieces. Um... But yeah, new growth point coming in there already. Doing really well. And then, look at this, you guys. I'm getting a new painted lady leaf, and look at the size of this. This is going to be a massive leaf. It's for sure going to be the biggest one yet. I'm so excited to see it. So excited. Um, and I don't know what is going on with my <laughs> painted lady. She's just, like, gone wild. She's giving me so many leaves from this, like, one area here. <coughs> I'm losing my voice already. Um, as if you can, if you look at her previous growing pattern, it was like a leaf, um, and then a, a little bit of a gap, and then a leaf, a little bit of a gap, a leaf, a little bit of a gap, a leaf, um, and then here at this one point when I moved her under the grow lights and into the cabinet, uh, she just suddenly is giving me so many leaves from this one point, and I've already gotten a leaf out of this petiole, so I'm very. Um, intrigued with what's going on here because it's giving me a second leaf out of the same petiole so I don't know very interesting stuff happening here but regardless I just cannot wait to see this new leaf because of how big it is nothing else too crazy going on in here I am getting a new uh, Florida Beauty leaf which I'll be very curious to see uh, what that looks like when it unfurls looks like a lot of green right now so that's interesting. And then this is my, um, what do you call it? Anthurium vitrifolium. This is the new leaf. It actually got like pretty big. I'm pretty impressed. This is definitely the longest leaf I've gotten so far. I think this is the last leaf. And then this is newest. So I'm really happy about that. Um, getting another, a new Begonia botanicus one leaf coming out right there. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I do have a Syngonium erythrophyllum leaf that is coming in right there. So I've just been kind of keeping an eye on that, waiting for that to come out. Very excited for that. But yeah, my plants are always growing in this cabinet. It's always exciting to look in there. Oh, also a little update on my Calathea Warshawixii that I thought was gonna die because it completely rotted. Uh, it is growing new roots in there. These are all new roots. Probably leave it in there until it grows, uh, until it gets a little bit more substantial root system. Um, then I will probably pot it up into a chunky potting mix. But yeah, so far it's doing okay. I mean, it looks crap. It really looks crap. Look at this one. Um, so I'm not like 100% confident that it's going to survive. But so far, you know, we're getting new roots and it's doing okay. I am also getting a new leaf on my philodendron subhostatum, you guys. Look at that. I'm so excited to see that. That will be very cool. I think it's happy being next to the cabinet because it gets some light from there. Um, it's put out these crazy aerial roots that are like just kind of growing into that other petiole. Um, I would like it to grow around this stake, but I don't think it's going to do that. Anyways, yeah, it's giving me a new leaf, so that's sweet.
And then inside the Mills bow, we have my two faves right here that are always doing the most. My Philodendron El Chaco Red. Look at that new leaf. I can't with that. I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed. I love that so much. Uh, we also have a new leaf on my Varicosum right here. Look at that. That is so nice. Um, we're going to be getting another one up there. I need to attach that vine to the moss pole. Um, also, my baby Anthurium seedlings are doing well in there. I'm so excited about that. Um, I'm going to be probably... I've been taking footage the whole time they've been growing, so I'm thinking I might put a video together um, about anthurium, growing Anthuriums from seed. Not that I'm an expert, obviously. It's the first time I've done it, but just to share my experience that I've documented. I don't know. Let me know if you want to see that. Oh, I also have a new leaf on my Splen Splendid. Yeah, that's right. My Philodendron Splendid. Um, I love this plant so much. Look at how blue. Like, it gives off such a blue sheen. And I'm just such a big fan of that. This plant is just... I literally thought that was a threat, but it's just like a speck of something. Um, yeah, this plant is just honestly immaculate. I love it so much. I really need to get it on a moss pole because, yeah, she deserves the best. And, yeah, I mean, some of these updates I've given in my Monstera video. We have a new leaf coming in on the Obliqua. Um, I also have a new Begonia Jula leaf coming in. And down here, what's going on? What is going on? Um, new leaf on my Hoya Compacta Moana Loa. This plant is actually looking a lot better. I struggled with it for quite some time, but it's definitely looking better. The leaves aren't like super wrinkled anymore or anything, and it's growing, so I'm happy about that. Still got my Philodendron Gigas um, giving a new leaf down here. I need to water this. This honestly it needs watering like every two days. It's wild. I'll be doing that after this video. And what else? We have my glorious new leaf there. Um, my Skindapsis Silver Hero. Oh my goodness. I'm so bummed about this, but it rotted on me, you guys. It completely rotted on me, and I knew that this was going to happen. I don't know why I didn't um, repot it because I knew I could tell that the potting mix it was in was too dense, like the potting mix it came in. But I don't know why I didn't, I just didn't get around to repotting it and it seemed like it was doing okay so I was like, oh, maybe it's fine. Um, but no, I definitely should have repotted it because it freaking rotted on me right when I was trying to put out a new leaf. Look at that. It was going to give me this beautiful new leaf. So now I have it in perlite with a little bit of Super Thrive and I'm just hoping for the best. So yeah, I'll be so sad if I lose this plant. I don't think I will. I'm sure I'll be able to save it, but yeah, I would be pissed honestly because I really love that one. Up here we have a lot of new growth on my Hoyas. I actually feel like this Hoya Hush Kaliana is one of my favorites in my whole collection. It's so beautiful. It grows quickly. The variegation on this is stunning. Like this is just so... I, yeah, I'm just so impressed by this Hoya, honestly. It's incredible. So yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites. We also have both of my variegated Bellas. They don't look that great. I don't know what it is. I think it might be too much light. So maybe I'll have to move them away. Like they are pretty close to the grow light because the new growth, it's just coming out looking like, I don't know, sunburnt, honestly. It doesn't look great. So I'll have to experiment with moving them away and see how that goes. Let me know if you have either of the variegated types of Hoya Bella. Let me know how you care for them, what type of light you give them. Because, yeah, I really want mine to thrive, but they haven't been, like, super happy. I mean, they are growing, but they could definitely look better. Okay, you guys, in my last update video that I filmed, I told you, like, if there's anything you specifically want an update on, comment and let me know because I'll write it down and include it in the next update video. And something that somebody was asking me about, um, well, first of all, someone was asking me about a pawn update, which I will do. I'll probably do that in its own video. Um, so that will be coming. But some something else that I was asked about was my staghorn fern. So here she is. It's dark outside, so sorry about that. It looks like yet another <laughs> gloomy day. Um, but yes, my staghorn fern. So people are wondering how it's mounted on here. Um, so I guess I'll kind of explain that. I don't think I'm going to be mounting another one like in the near future. So I'm just going to quickly explain how I did it. 
So obviously you need something to mount it to. I've seen people use wood. Um, this is cork. I got this actually when I was visiting Seattle. I've never seen this sold in a plant store here. So I grabbed it when I was there um, and then grabbed some sphagnum moss. I did this when I was very inexperienced, didn't really know what I was doing. I think I maybe watched a video or something. Um, but anyways, I just took my staghorn fern. It does have some soil here that was like really um, around the roots when I up potted it. So it, I just kind of stuck that into the sphagnum moss, put a big mound of moist sphagnum moss. And then I used, um, you can use like fishing line or this is meant for bracelets. It's just like a thin clear elastic from Michaels. And it's honestly held up really amazingly. So that's what I used. I put nails all around the plant and then I just kind of went to town like wrapping the uh, elastic in different <laughs> directions until this whole thing like seemed secure on here so you can see like there's elastic all over this but when you just look at it you know you can it's not super noticeable so so yeah that's kind of how I did it it's held up really well I did have a nail this nail came out here um and it's just kind of like I don't know <laughs> I've just kind of left it there um, but yeah, I haven't had any problems with it, honestly, and to water it, I just run it under the tap or like pour my fertilizer water on it because I do fertilize this sometimes. And that's pretty much how I did it. Like honestly, nothing fancy. And then I just put nails in this, um, cord to be able to hang it. Mine's just hanging on a command hook back there. And yeah, this could be tighter, but you know, maybe one day I'll get around to that. Anyways, yeah, love that. I love the way mounted staghorns look. Mounted plants in general, you can mount a lot of different plants and they look really cool. Okay, you guys, I think that that is everything that I wanted to talk about in today's video. Um, I am now day six, no coffee, and <laughs> it's going pretty well. I'm feeling all right today. So yeah, I've just been kind of doing um, more relaxed, chill videos lately. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so freaking much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps me out. Make sure you're subscribed also if you're new and you enjoy planty content. I'll also have a new vlog going up tomorrow, so you guys can look forward to that. And yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Try